Yeah, I mean, if it continues like this, there's almost no way it's not going to be a ski season for the books. The question is, is does it continue? You know, we're going to be cold first week of December, but then do we get a little bit of a warm-up? You know, it doesn't take much this time of year. You know, you get, a, you get three days of rain, it goes into the 50s up there. All that's just there gone. So, True. you know, it's, it's precarious, but boy, what a start for sure. Mm -hmm. It's an amazing, uh, amazingly chilly start to winter. In some places, this has been the coldest start and the snowiest start this early. Places like northern Maine, you know, yes, it's northern Maine, and yes, it's four or five hours away from here, but, you know, they got over a foot and a half of snow on the ground already. That is very early, even for those locations. The best day of the weekend is, yeah, you're in it right now. This is it, uh, uh, the real weekend, not including Thursday and Friday. And actually, it probably put this day into that as well because it was so cold the past couple of days. So a wet day for tomorrow, especially in the morning, drier in the afternoon, and no rain for Monday morning's commute, but a few showers coming in for the evening commute. So there's a lot of quick changes. Jet stream's really moving fast, and that brings in a lot of weather. So we've got the cold stuff over us right now. High pressure will push offshore for today, and what that does is it allows the rain to move into the area. We also have a wind advisory up for the Cape and the Islands, fairly strong coastal winds. This is until tomorrow evening at 7 o'clock. So nothing extraordinary by any means. And with that northeasterly wind, it will push a little bit of water onshore. So all the way from Cape Ann down through the shore roads of Boston and onto the Cape and the Islands, there could be some of those roads which end up temporarily closing at the time of high tide coming up late tonight and again for tomorrow. It's been a chilly month, uh, about 2 degrees below average. There's zero doubt we're going to end up colder than average for the entire month. No matter what happens here over the next week or so, we will not be warm enough to ever overcome that because we just had so much cold. And, you know, you get a day like this, 24 degrees below average, which we had on Thanksgiving. Just incredible, that high temperature at midnight of 24 degrees, and it just went down from there. We've had a lot of rain this month, just over 7 inches of rain. Not as wet as the 11 inches way back in the late 1800s, but still pretty wet. So high pressure, as I said, kind of sitting pretty over us this morning. It does move off and allows the area of clouds and showers to move in. But notice we'll stop the motion here in the wee hours in the morning, 7.30 tomorrow morning. Now, if this were a Monday, we'd really be slowing things down because there'd be some heavier downpours. So this comes through tomorrow morning, but it's Sunday, so it's a bit of a lazier day. And there's that area of low pressure kind of scooting out underneath us. Could be some gusty winds for a time. It is sort of a nor'easter uh, as it does move out underneath us and give us those northeasterly winds. But not super organized by any means. And then notice back to the west is another little area of showers back here. And you'll see this in the seven-day forecast. That next area comes through Monday afternoon, evening, into early Tuesday. And then it's a little unsettled Tuesday and Wednesday. We've got to give you some rain on Tuesday because it rains every Tuesday, right? And then we'll clear out Thursday and Friday. All right, Dave, thank you.